Hey, I'm Jared Bronstein, and scientists may have discovered a ninth planet, and it's not Pluto. As of now, the name of this planet is Planet Nine. How unoriginal. Although it does sound pretty cool, I won't lie, but still, come up with something like cooler, like, like, I'm trying to so hard to think of one on the spot, and I can't. Planet Nazareth. All right, question for you guys. If you could name this planet whatever you want, what would you call it? Let me know in the comments down below. Get creative. I want to hear. So this planet is believed to be 10 to 20 times the size of Earth. So I can't even imagine how many natural resources we'll be able to take advantage of until we overuse them, and then we have to slowly start finding another place to live. That was a bad joke, eh? That was me making fun of humans on Earth. Sometimes I try to be cringe, and it makes me laugh. Now here's the kicker. It's kind of unknown if this planet is even real or not. So it may or may not be a ting, and we're just supposed to accept that. No, I'm not accepting that. It's real. But maybe not, I really don't know. Here's the problem, the planet is hidden in the outskirts of the solar system, so it's very much up in the air, or space. <laughs> Bad joke number two there. Maybe we should start counting them, like have like a little number here, like ding, ding, ding. A study was published by researchers at the University of Madrid in Spain, claiming that an asteroid broke into two pieces after hitting a huge object beyond Pluto's orbit. So does that mean that a tiny asteroid hit planet nine and acted like my hair and split? That was a joke saying I have split ends. I think I'm three for three for the bad jokes now. That one was a little weak, kind of like that asteroid. Bam, I recovered, four for four. I'm gonna be the worst dad. Hey kids, <laughs> One of the authors of this study, Julia de Leon, wrote the similar spectral gradients observed for the pair, 2014 VN112 and 2013 RF98, suggests a common physical origin. We're proposing the possibility that they were previously a binary asteroid, which became unbound during an encounter with a more massive object. Now this little collision is believed to have happened somewhere between five to 10 million years ago, so it's not like this is a very recent thing. And we're just finding out about it now because that's how things work in space. We discover it super late. Well either way, if there is in fact a planet nine, I'm sure we won't know for sure until maybe 30, 35, because you know, us being late on discovering things that happen in space and on the earth and everywhere, I guess. Regardless, you guys gotta let me know what you would call this planet if you had the choice. As previously mentioned, get creative, let me know. I know some of you guys could be like planet potato and planet IO and all that, but like, I want some like cool, really funny planet, like, you know, names, planet names, like planet IO potato. Is that a bad joke number five? I don't know, I'll give that like a four and a half, that wasn't that good. Okay, we did a video about evidence in the good book claiming the world will end in 2017. Scary stuff, right? Jesus Tomeo said, maybe Jesus Tomeo, probably hates, uh, either one. Jesus, Jesus Tomeo, I one of you. Said, you guys should just make one of these every year. Fun fact, you make one of them like every other week because the world's gonna end every day apparently. So, Henrique Polito said, end of the world, I survived all of them. That's, yeah, because there's been a lot happening in like the year 2000, then I think it was like 2004, 2012, 2016, there was a lot. Raw War 661 said, let's be honest, Jared is Jesus, just look at that luscious beard. Maybe I am, maybe I'm not. You guys will never know, but I hear all your prayers. Kira Zero said, religion is for weak people who can't handle death. That's a little rough, man. I mean, like, I'm not huge into religion, but like, Personally for me, I think at the end of the day, you're allowed to have your beliefs as long as you don't push those beliefs on other people. So I would say just be happy that you believe in, but be respectful of other people and what they believe in. So that way we could all just believe in our own stuff and be happy and not kill each other because you know comments like that make people want to hate you. I don't hate you, but I'm sure people are gonna get at you in the comment section being like, you piece of shit. religion isn't for weak people, you know? So maybe just not write that again. Anyways guys, my name is Jared. Whatever religion you are or not, aren't, I tell bad jokes, and I'm gonna end this video by saying my name is Jared, I tell bad jokes. Okay, bye guys.